The Maldives is an Asian country that is lowly populated and occupies a relatively small geographical area within the Indian Ocean. The average altitude of the country is estimated to be 1.5 meters above sea level and considered one of the lowest countries on the planet. Besides, it possesses the lowest natural highest point in the world of about 2.4 meters. As such, the rising sea level is of primary concern for the Maldivian people. Positioned in the Indian Ocean, the Republic of Maldives is a tropical nation with 26 coral atolls that are made up of several hundreds of spectacular islands worth exploring. Renowned for its white sand beaches, blue lagoons, and extensive reefs. The waters in Maldives is home to about 1,100 species of fish, 5 species of sea turtles, 21 species of dolphins, 187 species of corals, 400 species of mollusks, and 83 species of echinoderms. In 1998, sea temperatures of 50 degrees Celsius, as a result of a single El Nino phenomenon event, caused coral bleaching, which led to the death of two-thirds of the nation's coral reefs. Further, the alteration of global climatic patterns can be attributed to variations in the levels of atmospheric carbon gases produced by fossil fuels used by human beings. In Maldives, people are consistently destroying their basic survival. Therefore, the motherland is facing numerous environmental problems, which among them include global warming. With the increase in the effects of climate change, Maldives has been experiencing high levels of soil erosion among other challenges. Maldives is extremely exposed to the effects of rising sea levels, as most of its land area will be underwater due to changes in climate. Additionally, coral bleaching has a damaging effect on the fish as they feed on the larvae in the coral. Also, it acts as their breeding space, and due to the rise in sea level, the fish population has reduced. Climate change has led to several disasters in Maldives, such as extreme weather events and the thawing of glaciers, which are responsible for the rising sea level and water resource problems, with a fast declining agricultural output. Everybody should take upon themselves that responsibility to manage their environment and reduce activities that are environmentally devastating. The world belongs to us and the future generations. Therefore, we need to conserve and manage it better than it has always been. There is a great need to have efforts geared towards attaining energy efficiency. This means there should be policy regulations that regard carbon emissions in the environment. The concept of green competitiveness should be encouraged among corporate and non-corporate organizations. This is because a reduction of carbon emissions and achieving an energy efficient environment is the responsibility of each and everyone. Natural resources should be conserved and managed under sustainable development initiatives that should be spearheaded by all environmental stakeholders. The aim of the climate change goal is to stabilize the atmospheric concentrations of GHGs and also to reduce the hazardous anthropogenic interference in normal climate patterns. This is similar to other goals as they aim to alleviate poverty and ensure humans live a healthy life. This is achieved by providing affordable and accessible solutions to ensure permanent eradication of problems. Climate change is now imperiling the whole world. The government has stepped up efforts in oil exploration with the aim of selling to increase its revenue earnings. At the moment, Maldives has become a highly sensitive region that requires alternative energy solutions as opposed to petroleum. It's important to realize that finding alternative sources of energy in Maldives will be a big step in alleviating the challenges of climate. More NGOs and other related agencies need to be invited to step up the efforts that have been started to tackle this global menace.